Uh, hello, this is a note on using the program QTVLM for piloting plotting. Uh, doing the same thing we could do with parallel rulers and dividers on a paper chart, we can also do on electronic chart. And uh, we'll do that uh, illustrating the uh, use of QTVLM. Now, there, there may well be better ways to do this. There's a lot of functionality in this program. But I'm just going to show one way that, uh, that I've been using lately. And maybe we'll learn something better, in which case we'll replace this. OK, so here are the exercises to do a bearing line, a two bearing fix, range and bearing fix, and a two range fix. Then with another video, I'll come back and do a running fix, and then do a current and vector uh, current and wind vector solutions. OK, so a bearing line. And we'll use the, um, uh, OK, I'm going to bearing line to trial island light bears 288. We want to draw that line as if we measured it with a, well, this is true. Um, um, I'm plotting it as true bearing. And trial island light right here. That's right here. OK, so 288. So we're going to use the pathway tool for that. And we're going to say create a pathway. And now we'll call this bearing line bearing line 1. Then we can come back and use it again. And this default is purple, which is a color of all these lines on our RNC. So we don't, we'll change that. Let's change that to blue. OK, so it's blue. And then we want. Um, uh, last position, that doesn't matter. We want to start it from the first mark. Later, we'll come back and show doing bearings and so forth from the boat itself. We don't want to hide anything. We don't have to reverse it. OK, we're good to go. Then we then after you have it set up like that with that name, then you then you define it by append POIs. And here's our target. So I'll just put um, I'll just put a, a mark here. And then over here, a mark over here. And then I drag that up to be right on trial island light. OK, that's right there. So that's on the right spot. Uh, and now I'm done with those. But let me, I just see a couple. See, this. A, there's a waypoint, and here's a waypoint. I mean, a waypoint, a mark. Let me get rid of those. I'm hitting the Shift key right now. I'm going to draw a box with a Shift key, and then right click and delete all marks and say yes. Very nice cleanup tool. All right, back to our project. Now I can grab this, and what do I want? Try 288. 288. So there's 283. The further away you are, it's going to be a little bit easier. Uh, 281, 82, 88. OK. So there's a bearing. So then that's done. That's a bearing line drawn on the chart to uh, Trial Island Light 288. OK. What's our next? That's that exercise, drawing a bearing line. Now the next one is Trial Island Light bears 288. Good, we've got that done. Now Discovery Island Light bears 028. 028. Discovery Island Light is here. OK, so this is a two bearing fix. So let's come back to Pathways, create a pathway. Oh, OK, so bearing, bearing line 2. OK, we'll do that. Let's change it to blue again. OK. We don't want to hide anything. We're append. OK. So we're going to Discovery Island Light. So I assume I'm across a bearing here somewhere. So let me go up to uh, there and say, OK, I can hit here, stop appending there. Or you can hit the Escape key. That's the same thing. And now I can then put this right on the light right there. OK. Now I'm rolling the mouse to change the zooming. Now here's where I'm going to grab this guy. Oh, by the way, there's some other little setting I want. I have to show you here. Uh, OK, uh, what do we want? Trial Island Light is 028. 028. Uh, 028. 028. Right there. OK, so there's the fix. And if you wanted to read that accurately, I would right click here, drop a mark. And don't worry about the name or anything. We just use it. And then bring that mark over, set it right at the intersection. Then right click and edit it. Then you can read here the latitude and longitude of your, of your mark right there. OK, that's that. But now let me, this technique of using the pathway and dragging these things. Anyway, excuse me for interrupting. But there's a, there's a, ray, a 
two uh, two bearing fix right there, and that's a fix. But um, I forgot one thing. Let's go back here to uh, preferences and uh, general. You see this down here, allow POIs to be moved immediately. That's what I've got. If you shut that off and say OK, and then you come to a POI, you see it's red, and you have to hold it for a while to be sure you really want to do it, then you can move it. You see, it's a kind of a, it's a protective feature, so you don't just randomly move things. But for what the type of work we're doing, we we're, we're want to move those right away. So I would go back to general and say, allow the POI. Po uh, point of interest. It's same as a mark. That's the same as a, a mark. Okay. All right. So that's done. Now we can use this nice, what are we doing now? We have a range and bearing. Oh, now we want a range and bearing fix. But let me just clean this up here. You see, I go here, right click. I hit a shift drag. Or you can come up here and do this, this tool here. You see, whoop, this tool here. And then do this, and then right click and delete all marks and say yes. So it's a very nice way to clean up. So the next thing on our list is a range and bearing fix. Well, range and bearing fix. Now that's that. There's that's easy ways. Oh well, let's see what the actual problem is. Range and bearing. Trial Island. Trial Island South Tip. Bears three three five at a two point two. Trial Island South Tip 335 at 2.2. Okay, so we could, uh, let's go back and do our trick again. Um, uh, well, we have to click the chart. On a, Mac, on a PC, you don't have to do that. The menu bar is right in it. On a Mac, you have to click it to get the, get the menu bar back. Pathway. Edit a pathway. Let's just take our bearing one. And I think now we can just, we're good to go. We can just say append this. And then, uh, so just put one mark here and then one mark here. That's that. And then escape or hit here. Now let's get this bearing right. That is... Um, that's a range and bearing. That's three three five. Three three wait a minute. Okay. Three three five is about right there. Whoop, nope. 335 is right there. Now, we could also notice I'm dragging this around. I've got distance, so I could go up here and kind of like find 2.2 2 and 335. But then I'm, I'm fighting two things. I'm trying to set one accurate and the other one accurate. So this one I can just come down to 335 or as close as I can get there. Then go up to this waypoint here and edit it. And then just put a ring on it. Put one ring on it and make that ring equal to 2.2. Um, 2.2 miles. Okay. Now there's your fix right here. So then you can just again drop a mark. Doesn't matter what it is. Uh, bring it up here and set it there. And then right click, edit, and then you read the lat lawn of your fix. Okay, that's that. Uh, and again, uh, that, so what is that? That one is range and bearing fix. Now we have two ranges. Ah, okay. Well, that's easy. Let's just, uh, we don't need this. Uh, uh, let me just delete this. Yeah. Well, no, that's not. Let me just start again. What are we doing now? Two ranges. Yeah, this is just a lot simpler. Okay, delete everything. Yes, okay. So two ranges is easy. This is a type of fix you'd get from your radar. It's, it's the most accurate type of radar fix you can get. And um, and it's not, it's, uh, let's see, two range and bearing is the fastest kind of radar fix you can get. It's definitely fast. But the, the trouble is the bearings, bearings on radar is always tied to your heading sensor and your calibration of a lot of things. Whereas the range, two ranges, very accurate radar fix. So you have Clover Point at 0.95 and the southwest corner trial island 1.4. Okay, so Clover Point, that's here. So we can just drop a mark here and then put a mark on it at the distance is 0 0.95. 
I'm going to do Command A and then 0 0.95 and say uh, OK. So the first one told me I'm somewhere on that line. And then here we've got what the southwest corner of Trial Island. Again, trying to guess how it would look in the radar. It's probably about right here, right? And you drop a mark there and you just add a mark here. Uh, command A, oh, Command A, and then 1.4, 1.4, and you say OK, OK. So uh, we're either here or here, and we were in our boat, so we're probably down here. And again, that's how you would get the, you drop a mark here, say OK, and bring it over to right there. And then read, edit, and read the lat lawn off of it. Okay, that's that. So that's a two range fix. These can be plotted fairly quickly. There may be quicker ways with tools here, but these are pretty efficient. Um, one last thing. Okay, well, let me just clean up uh, this. Um, shift, drag. I really like that feature and delete all marks. Yes, okay. So that's the technique. Um, those are the three plotting techniques. I'm going to come back with another video and do a running fix. And then we have some other things to talk about, about the general management of marks and waypoints and routes and so forth. And we'll add those as time goes by.